You're watching Fox 10 Arizona Morning with Ron Hoon, Rick D'Amico, Andrea Robinson, Kristen Anderson, and Corey McCloskey in HD. Coming up. Hi, to the Health Wire. We always hear about new things that could be causing breast cancer, and now today, there's another new study out. Yeah, and uh, it's just one more thing that could put women at risk. We're talking about the possibility of birth control shots being linked to breast cancer. Many women get birth control shots instead of taking the daily pill. <clears throat> and when we heard uh, this, you know, we wanted to know more. Yeah, so this morning, Diane Ryan is with a breast cancer specialist to find out more. Hey, Dee. Hey, that's right, guys. Uh, more than a million women get shots for birth control, and a lot of them know that there are some side effects, rashes and backaches for some. But now there's a much bigger concern that this could be linked with breast cancer. And with me is Dr. Robert Kuski, and you're a specialist in uh, breast cancer disease. Yes, I work at Arizona Breast Cancer Specialist. Tell me a little bit about uh, the concern. What is this and, and what's in it that um, has people worried? Well, we've known for years that a combination of estrogen and progesterone, which are two female hormones, can increase the risk of breast cancer. We knew that from hormone replacement therapy. Now it's being studied for breast cancer risk for birth control. And this is called a Depo-Provera? Depo-Provera, it's a shot that women get to prevent conception. And it's this combination of two drugs rather than just estrogen that increases the risk of breast cancer slightly. And, and women who choose this, can they not take birth control pills or why would they use this over birth control pills? Well, there's some birth control pills that don't have the increased risk, but it's the convenience of getting this shot that's very attractive to women. And um, what are you advising um, women now? Well, I think you need to understand the risk. And overall, women have a one in eight chance of developing breast cancer by the time they're 80. However, women in their 20s and 30s, the ones taking this Depo Provera, only have maybe a one in 400 risk of getting breast cancer. And this slightly increases it to maybe one in 250. So I don't think women should panic. And you have to weigh the pluses of the convenience of getting one shot for birth control versus a very slight increase in the risk of breast cancer, I don't think women should panic. Okay, so that's a good advice coming from you because um, you do, this is what you do for a living is, is help women with breast cancer. Every day I get questions mm -hmm. just like you asked me. <laughs> oh, good, so women uh, it can, it should not be afraid to use it then at this point, is that your point? I wouldn't change my habits necessarily. I think being concerned and knowledgeable about the risk is one thing, but being paranoid is another. So should they get more mammograms um, or just make sure they get one every year? I think that all women should be watching their breast and doing self-breast examination and annual mammography starting at the age of 40. And women taking the Depo Provera maybe need to be a little heightened uh, concerned. Okay, well, thank you so much. That's some great advice. Uh, and a lot of women who use this uh, for con contraceptives don't have to worry too much uh, today. Back to you guys.